elect Dr. William Ruto already has his work cut out for him as he walks into an economy already struggling with the highest cost of living in recent history. With his manifesto promising to make living a bearable for Kenyans within the first 100 days, it has to tackle the food basket first as he takes office when it is at that record 72 months high. We're looking to what he has to target if he will indeed find a solution to the cost of living challenge that is pushing majority of Kenyans to the wall. As the new president-elect Dr. William Ruto awaits his swearing in on the 13th of this month, his work is already cut out for him. He walks into an economy that needs immediate fixing. On the back of his promises is the cost of living and especially food. Ruto has to find a way of fixing the cost of maize flour prices that increased by 4.7% per kilo a packet following a 2.6% per kilo increase in prices of maize grain. Rice, considered an alternative food to Ugali to majority of Kenyans, also experienced a 2.9% increase for 1 kg of non-aromatic brands, which in turn saw the price of a 2 kg packet of rice retail at around 450 shillings to 500 shillings. The 8.5% inflation was also heavily occasioned by an increase in prices of potatoes, onions, carrots with a KNBS report indicating that a rise of 0.9%, 2.4% and 6.4% respectively across the commodities. The price of a kilo of mangoes across major supermarkets increased by 4.1%. That saw the commodity sell at 120 shillings and 140 shillings. Apart from these basic food items, KNBS highlighted nana food items whose prices increased Increased in the same period under review, with fuel prices also on a historic high, including soaps and detergents, whose prices increased by 1.5% per 800 grams and 0.7% at 500 grams, respectively. In July 2022, KNBS report indicated that food prices plunged to a high of 15.3% compared to 13.8% in the previous month. It is more bleak times 